Next up, I will try and mark out why I want to put these aero catches. I have got the lockable flush fit ones. You can get cheap Chinese versions of these, but in the past I have experienced them breaking quite often. So it's worth spending the extra few pennies to get some aero catches. trying to do is find the flattest point in the area where I need the pins to be. There is very little room between the bonnet and the headlight unit so I have a little choice where it can go but it could go further down which has more of a rock to it. So I'm thinking around there somewhere. <laughs> marked up I can test fit the inlet manifold so I can see what clearance I have on the inside of the bonnet I'll do this before I take the bonnet off to do the modifications to this heaps of room I think the next thing to do is to bolt the gearbox to the car and engine so I can get it in its final place before I make the mount for the intercooler so I know exactly how much play I have between the bumper and the engine. Voila! As you can see it's been sat outside for almost a year so I need to give it a good clean up, make sure everything's okay and then I'll just fit it to the car. Gearbox, subframe and linkages are all bolted in now, so I just need to poly shim this shifter and then we can give it a trial. When I go for first gear, the linkage is fouling this plate, so I will modify the plate, I'll cut a section out of the corner and then refit it. From above you can see how much distance I have made to bring the shifter back. We're in neutral in this position, so it's really nice literally drop your hand off the steering wheel and you're on the shifter so first second third fourth fifth and reverse now i have the throw of the gear shifter mapped out 
I can find out where I can put the hydraulic handbrake. I think I will be able to take even more slack out of this assembly when I come to install it for the final time. Obviously I still need to weld it up, tidy it and paint it black. I have now decided where it will go. It will sit just to the right of the shifter. Now I have decided where the hydraulic handbrake is going, I can make the base that it will be sat on. I'll take a quick mental note of where it is and then I can remove the seat and anything else that will be in the way and then I can start fabricating this mount. I'm just checking the clearance with the seat. There's plenty of room to have some brake line that tuck around the inside and then obviously miss the shifter and tuck back down the tunnel to go to the back. mount welded into the car I can move back onto the front and continue with the clip. I'm happy with the clearances and the position so once I'm ready to do the final assembly obviously I can paint all this again and also uh, put in new seat rails. With the gearbox bolt to the engine now in place you can see how much further the engine is tilted back. For me that is perfect, there's more room at the front. When the engine was further forward it was a big concern of the top water pipe because it was so close to the headlight unit it would have been really hard to do some kind of U so now I have a lot more space to play with there which is good. So we know the engine is in the right position now, we know the clip is bolted on in its place we can do away with the aircon compressor, so that's a lot of weight saved and space. However, I can't do away with this part completely because this part is the mount for the alternator which I need. So I will unbolt this compressor unit off the mount, put the mount on the car and then trial fit the alternator. Thank you. 
Next up, the crank pulley. The inner part of the pulley is for the air conditioning, which I have deleted. So hopefully I can get a delete kit that will have just the outer pulley or reduce the drag on the engine. This should be about the extent of parts that will be coming out towards the intercooler. So now these are on, I can offer up the intercooler and figure out where I want to mount it. I think I want about 30mm of clearance between the engine and the intercooler and then I have plenty of room in the front for some kind of crash bar. My plan is to mount the intercooler high as I can get it within reason. This is A for ground clearance, B is it will allow the inlet and outlet pipes be called directly from air coming through the vent in the front. If it's lower down it will be protected by this part of the bumper. If I can get it high enough so the pipes are directly hit by cool air, it will help the cooling charge.